Hi again. So today I wanted to show you guys how to create like a casual curl for a more shorter hairstyle like I have here. Um, I totally regret having this short of hair right now, but I have it. So I did have an A-line and it's growing out. It's been like two years. It was like a really short A-line. So anyways, what I have here, I don't know, I picked this up at Walmart. It's just a little Conair wand. I have it heating up right now. Usually I do the highest it'll go, which is 400, which might not be the best for especially bleached hair like mine. So maybe go down. I mean, click it down a little bit. Either way, just use a wand for this. And then I have a brush. I use a one hair tie. And then I put some, I mean, you can use some kind of styling gel. I use this Jocko uh, sculpting lotion which I really like this stuff um, I already put it in when my hair was wet and then I blow dried it and then what I'm gonna do is I like to do half and half so I'll start doing two layers of curls is what I generally do so I'm gonna put this half up out of the way however you want to do it in a hair tie or a hair clip and then I'll just take, I have kind of fine hair, so if you have thicker hair, you might do three layers of curls. Um, but I think I find it easiest for me to do the two layers. So I just grabbed back. I think I'll be able to do three sections on this side and then three on the other, three or four on the other. Alright, so I have my hair. I'm going to go down like this and then just start wrapping. You wrap the hair and you give it a second. I usually count to like five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then just gently let it back off. And I don't really mess with them at first. I kind of let them set. So then I'm going to take and divide this out. And this time, I'm going to go the opposite direction. So, you kind of want to alternate which way you wrap. So, the first time I wrapped toward me, now I'm wrapping my hair away. So, you wrap it away. Do your counting again. One, two, three, four, five. Let it go. Then we're going to grab the last piece. Give it a little wrap. Watch your ear. <laughs> you don't want to go burning your ear. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Nice little wrap. Then the other side, same thing. You want to make sure you grab all from back there. Okay, that's a curl. Okay, so. And grab a piece there. Maybe on this side, I'm going to start towards me. So wrap towards. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, this side only adds two sections. You know, my hair is super thin, guys. Seriously. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap away. And usually I think in the front you're supposed to really be wrapping away from your face. That way the curls aren't like coming at your face. They're more, you know, like gracefully going away from your face. Okay, and then it's a pretty fast thing. We're only four minutes in. Um, then for the next part I just kind of like to get it the way that I part my hair. Look at this. I need to get my hair colored again. Okay. And then just take half down the half, the first side of your part, which is way longer or way more hair than the second half of my part's going to be. Because I part my hair pretty far to the, let's see, to my left hand side. Okay. So same thing on this side, you want to alternate, one, two, three, four, five, let it down, you might want to do a little tug on it, just so it, it's like nice, there we 
go again. Now to go away. And you want to make sure the hair doesn't really get too twisted going around. It can easily get twisted, especially the longer your hair gets, the easier it is to kind of twist up around this. It'll make your curls a little messier if you do that. So three, four, five. I'm just going to tug it down a little bit. Okay. That way they're not so springy. I don't really like super, um, I think this one's supposed to go towards, I don't know, sometimes I, I do it double, like I'll do two towards one away on accident, so, well at least this one's coming towards and the last one will get a go away from my face, so, see, there's that, and this one here. And I'm always super picky about the one that's right in front, like that's normally my bangs. So I might mess with this one a bit afterwards. Let's see. One, I just touched my finger to it. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that one didn't turn out so bad. Okay, so this side's good. Um,. This is not the final product for me at least. I mean, if you like really like defined curls, then go for it. But me, I usually brush it out at the end just a little bit because it, it's just like too fancy for me to be like this. I, I want a more like casual curl. This is more formal to me, like more for like a prom or date night or really fancy like a wedding or something some people like it though four or five um just keep the rotation see this side's only gonna have two sets oh and then a little piece down there i'll kind of curl on its own this hair on my head over here is like little baby hairs on this side okay and then let me just grab that part that I missed. Give it a little curl. All right. So there's that. And then just let it sit for a couple seconds. And then I just like to break them apart with my fingers. Or you can use a brush. Uh, just enough. So that they kind of. You get that extra volume going on. And then you can always... Oh, see, it's kind of pretty. Um, set it with some hairspray. I don't really like how hairspray feels on my hair. That's why I use the sculpting lotion before. That way it just kind of sets it when I do it. Because it keeps the hair soft without that stiff hairspray feeling. I'm sure there's hairsprays out there. Just kind of touch up little sp spots if you miss some spots but overall i think looks pretty good got that done in eight minutes so yeah and as you practice you'll get faster at it if it takes you a little bit the first couple times especially if your hair is thicker it's going to take you thicker haired girls longer but you know and if it's thicker you might i don't know you might use a bigger roller for your hair because these smaller ones might really make your hair stick out i don't know i'm not too experienced with thicker hair because i was not blessed with thick hair but when it's curled it looks thicker so it's always good anyways yes this was my casual curl video for you guys Go ahead, like, subscribe, leave any comments you want to leave me or tips if you guys have any good tips, especially on um, hairspray that is not crunchy. I hate crunchy hairspray. So leave me comments, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on my next beauty video. Thank you for watching.